Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. I figured I would do a video of a fixture that I'm putting together to facilitate making some iron cart wheels for my engine cart that I'm building for my four and a half horsepower United. Uh, if you're interested in seeing that engine, I do have a video of it, it's not running yet. Um, but anyway, I am building an engine cart and I didn't feel like paying the money for uh, a vintage set of cast iron wheels. Too much money, $200, $300, too much money for me, so I decided to build some of my own. So at the local steel yard, I found some 12 inch diameter, uh, 3 8 wall iron pipe. And with their big bandsaw, they uh, slice it into a couple nice even pieces for me. These are two inch wide wheels. Then I also found some material for a hub. So one inch ID tube and a spindle, one inch solid steel spindle, and some half inch diameter mild steel for the spokes. There's going to be six spokes on each wheel. And also I'm going to put a little grease zerk in there for lubrication. But uh, you need a way to hold everything down and keep everything aligned while, you, while I'm welding it together. So Shop Dog Sam had a video. Now, if you don't, uh, if you haven't seen Shop Dog Sam's videos, I highly suggest checking him out. He's got a lot of very informative videos. He made a similar fixture to this, so I copied it more or less. I changed a little thing here or there. You got to use what you got. And what I what I had was this iron plate. You got to find something big and flat, and metal, preferably nice and sturdy, something nice and rigid. This is some cast iron plate of some sort. It's ground, it has a ground surface on it, so it's, I, can, I can be relatively certain it's flat. And I'm working off this surface to build my wheel and make sure everything is aligned and square. So I need to do two things. I need to hold everything down in the right, in the right place, and I need to align everything in the right location. So for the alignment, which is the easiest part, Drill the, or uh, center punch the hole in the middle of the plate. Found the diameter of the hub. Cut that in half to find the, um, the radius and use the compass. Set the compass to the radius. And scribe the line on uh, around that center punch mark. And now I can align the hub going by eye on the scribe mark. I can align the hub with the center punch mark. And then I took a larger um, compass. Now, this is a uh, 12 inch inside diameter wheel. And I set this compass to 6 inches, which is the radius. And I scribed a line around. Now I have a line that I can align the rim with. And next next thing I had to deal with was that this hub is four inches wide and this rim is two inches. So to get the hub centered in the rim, I needed to lift this rim up by an inch. So I found these one inch thick round metal pucks so the rim will be supported like so. One inch off this surface which brings this center, the center line of the rim with the center line of the hub. And to align the rim with the scribe mark that I made you just have to use a, a little square and put it up against there and, you know, move it up to the scribe mark, move it up, and just fiddle with it to get it in place. And then I'm going to use two C-clamps to clamp the rim down. So the rim will be aligned and clamped. So that takes care of the rim. But now, how do I deal with the hub and uh, especially these, these spokes? Well, what Shop Dog Sam did, and I copied it, uh, you make these clamps. Very simple clamp. It's a uh, it's a bent piece of round stock. 
uh, I bent it slightly more than a 90 degree angle, or slightly less than a 90 degree angle, and I drilled a hole in the plate that was a couple thou bigger than, you know, the next drill size up from this size. So it just barely fits, and it binds up easily if you, if you get it out of alignment, which is the point. And what you do to clamp, say, the hub down, I have this piece of flat plate on here, so this bar, when I push down, it'll push right in the middle rather than pushing off to the side and making the hub um, angle itself. So I put that piece of metal there, and I found rather than putting this clamp on and pushing it to uh, spring tension everything and, and wedge it in there, I found it's better to drop it down on the side, like this, and then lift it up against the spring tension of the bar, and pivot it over, and gently set it down, and that is holding the hub very sturdily in place. It's a little wobbly because this surface isn't quite flat, but you can find a sweet spot. I've got it pretty sturdy before. And you want to make sure this hub is square to the flat surface, just in case, because in my case I have some grind marks here, and uh, you want to make sure that it's not sending it cockeyed. So you use your little square and make sure that it's square. And if it isn't, use a little shim, a folded up piece of paper, put it under one side, clamp it down again, and recheck it. So now we've taken care of the rim, taken care of the hub. Now as for the spokes, to get the spokes centered in the rim, I needed to lift them up by a height of uh, one and three quarter inches. So I have some more of these one inch pucks. And I have a three quarter inch chunk of steel. It would be ideal to have a single piece of metal that is an inch and three quarter thick, but I didn't have one, couldn't find one. This will work fine. So now I can drop the spoke on there, and as it sits, it's right in the middle of the hub, in the middle of the rim, but it's all rolly. So how, how are we going to hold that down? We do the, do the same thing. I have another clamp. This one's a little longer, so it can reach all the way around the rim. Another clamp. And a little piece of metal with a, a groove cut in it. I just did that on the bench grinder. That groove goes against the piece of round stock for the spoke. And same deal. To clamp it down. This is a little trickier than the other one I found, but if you mess with it a little bit, you get it clamped down pretty sturdy. But this vertical piece can angle itself a lot, so you have to make sure it's perfectly straight, and then it'll clamp down pretty pretty sturdy. And it's not square at all right now, but I didn't, I'm not setting it up to weld, I'm just demonstrating how this works. So now that spoke is, is in there pretty tight. I'm actually wobbling my workbench, just trying to move that spoke. So that's all there is to it. Um, again, this will be held down with C-clamps. I'm just not putting those on now because the bench is in the way. I have to raise this plate up a little bit. But that's all there is to it. Now I can get my welder, put a little tack weld there, tack weld there, and then in there, and in there. Let it cool, then take this clamp off, and then move over here and weld in another spoke, and then I have to get a protractor out to measure a 60, 60 degrees, I think it is, spoke spacing for six, uh, six spokes. Measure that out, and uh, get it set up and weld it in. And that's about all there is to it.
it should work pretty well. And one last thing I, I'm, I saw on my bench here, I forgot to mention, I have this um, attachment, uh, like a sliding square attachment, a little different from what you're normally used to seeing. If you set it on a round thing like that, this, this edge here will go perfectly through the center of the of the circle, of whatever circle you're putting this on. So, what you can do with that, this clamp is in the way to, to show you, but as, it, as I'm looking, standing, looking down on this, the spoke is angled a little bit because I just dropped it in there by hand. And to align that, I could put this, um, put this square here, and then now I can straighten that. And just by eye is all you really need to do. And now I can see that this, the spoke is aligned with this edge of the square. And this, this, this line here is perpendicular to the tangent line of this circle. Tangent line here is here. Perpendicular to that goes right through the center. And that way I can make sure all my spokes are aligned and pointing perfectly straight in towards the center of the hub. So nothing's going to look funky when it's welded together. So I can align this by eye. Maybe make a chalk line mark or something on this plate. So I, if I remove the spoke, I can move it back. And then set the clamp. Can't really, to, to recheck, I'd have to move this like so, because this bar is in the way, and I can recheck, and it looks pretty good. And uh, that's about all there is to it. So hopefully this fixture works pretty well. I, I'm pretty confident that, that it'll work. Um, the trickiest thing is just getting those tack welds nice and even, even amount of time, even amount of weld bead on either either side and either end to even out all the stresses from the uh, shrinkage and cooling of that weld of that weld bead. Uh, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. Come back for more. And I'll probably do another video of uh, maybe an in-process setup, or maybe just after I finish it, show you show you if it worked or not, or how well it worked. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. As always, come back for more.